Hey guys, and welcome back to Zola's Lab 2. So today it is October 31st of 2024, and of course that is Halloween, so we are once again going to do another candy hunt across the world. However, this time it's going to be a bit different. This time around, it's only going to be located in the houses spread across the world. Now, we technically already started the candy hunt in the last video, specifically right here on the skyscraper top floor. But other places will include the secret Halloween room, and Pro's house, near the special lab entrance, the Oak house, my house, and lastly Rose Crystal's house. With all that said, let's jump right into it. So again, we technically already started this off in the previous video by claiming a cake from this very trick-or-treat station. Meaning now we have to make our way down to the secret Halloween room. By heading down there, we can find another trick-or-treat station filled with the Chorus fruit. Let's pick it up, and that is two candies out of, I think, seven that I hid. Let's move on to the next area. Next place we need to go is Emperor's house, which we just need to get through the gate here. And then we are presented with a candy station right there specifically. Opening it up, we have a cookie. Let's pick it up. And now we have three candies out of seven. Let's move on to the next area. The next place we need to go is the special labs, specifically down here in the main area, the outside area. The reason we need to go here is because we have ourselves another candy station. Opening it up, we have the sweet berries. So let's pick that up. And now we have four candies out of seven. Let's move on to the next area. To make our way over there, we need to cross the bridge, respectively. As you can see. Heading on over here, we now can make our way over to the houses. Where we can now successfully claim our next candy, being the glow berries. There we go. That is five out of seven candies. And we don't even need to pause this because they are literally right next to each other. Well, okay, we'll have to pause for that last one. But, you'll notice over here, we have another candy station at my house. We have the Enchanted Golden Apple. Let's pick that up. And now we only need one more candy to successfully complete the candy hunt. The final candy we need to collect in our candy hunt is Rose Crystal's house. Opening it up, we have the Golden Carrot, which technically isn't a candy, but you know what? We'll consider it for the sake of this hunt. With all that being said, though, that is all seven candies collected. Now, do we get anything for completing the candy hunt, you're probably wondering? Yes, actually. A wind charge, to be specific. Why specifically a wind charge? Well, first of all, these things are insane, just for the record. Look at that. Look at that. Look what we are able to do with just these. Secondly, there are mobs all over the place. Remember that. See, for example, we could easily do something about this creeper. Because as you can see, yeah, we can make him go insane. Like, seriously, that's one of the main reasons I did that in the first place. See, we can do the same with this guy. Get it at just the right angle. Hey, get back here, skeleton. Hold on, can we send this guy? Heck yeah! One more time, though. Yeah! There we go! We got him! <laughs> yeah! It's a cool way to fight off the mobs during this party. So, hey, what a great reward! Get out of here! Oh, and before I go, here's some decorations that were exclusive to this candy hunt. As you can see, it's not much, but it still looks really cool. I hope you guys love it. And yeah, that's all for the video. In fact, all the videos on this party overall, because there were only three of them. We're supposed to be more throughout the party for all the skyscraper challenges on their own, but since this came out late, I merged them all into these three videos. With all that being said, guys, I'll see